There are many scientific and medical teams working on a coronavirus vaccine, but a vaccine takes time to perfect before it can be approved by the FDA. Many are saying that antibody treatments, like a treatment that was originally developed to fight Ebola, might be our best hope at fighting coronavirus. Welcome back to Inform Overload. This is where we tell you about what's trending on the internet. I'm Charlotte Dobre, resident shit talker and potato queen and, uh, what else am I? Uh... Anyways, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss one of our videos, and follow us on socials. We got the social, we got the Instagram, we got the Facebook. I got Twitter. I got Twitter. You guys should follow me on Twitter. Tweeting up a storm all day long, usually. So I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a scientist, but I did hear about this great treatment, and I will break it down to you as simply as I possibly can to make it make sense. Coronavirus is a very effective virus. Each coronavirus particle has these little spikes on it, about a hundred of them. And those spikes latch onto an enzyme on the surface of your throat or your lungs. Once a coronavirus particle has done that, it replicates millions of times. The new coronavirus is much more resilient than previous ones in that it does a better job of like latching onto human cells and not letting go. It latches onto human cells much more tightly than SARS. But there's just this issue where a ton of the population might have already had coronavirus and a lot of people don't have symptoms, yet we are all sort of being stuck isolated on the off chance that we are one of the unlucky ones and also to help our healthcare workers and flatten the curve. So what is the solution? Treat the patients that are the most sick with antibody treatments. Neutralize the spikes so that the particles don't latch onto the host. The way scientists are saying that that's possible is to find effective antibodies. When a pathogen gets introduced into your body, your immune system starts making antibodies. Antibodies then bind to the pathogen and one of two things happens. It neutralizes it or it marks it for destruction for another part of the immune system. When you recover from a disease, antibodies can stay within your immune system for years and they remember that pathogen and they make you immune. Isn't the human body like amazing? It's just, it's literally amazing. If you happen to be infected with coronavirus, your body does start to create antibodies, but not all antibodies are effective. The solution is to find the antibodies bodies that are the most effective and turn them into a medicine. Yes, a vaccine will definitely become necessary at some point, but we need a treatment as soon as possible for those critically ill patients. There are several drug companies working on a solution. President Trump has been supportive of hydrozychloroquine, which is a malarial drug. And then there's remdesivir, which was developed by Gilead Sciences Inc. It was actually originally developed to fight Ebola. So because it takes years to develop a new drug, five years or more likely, the best chance that we have, we need to find effective drugs that are already available. The hope is that human trials will begin by the end of the summer and antibody treatments could be available to the public as early as the fall of 2020. I know that sounds really far away guys, but it is good news. It is good news. It means that scientists are working on it and they're closing in on what we can do to fix it. And there's more good news. Another company, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, has experienced a huge bump in stock thanks to a milestone they achieved with tests on mice, according to Bloomberg. In this case, Regeneron used the genetic material identical to that of the virus in several dozen mice, provoking an immune response. About a month later, the scientists removed the mice's spleens and extracted thousands of antibodies that had developed in response to the viral material. They began sorting through the antibodies and in mid-April selected a few of the most potent ones to produce at one of Regeneron's main manufacturing sites for animal trials. News of that milestone produced another bump for the company's stock, which at press time was the best performer of 2020 on the S&P 500 index. Human trials should begin in June. Although Regeneron hasn't had an approved drug yet, its treatment for Ebola might be the first one. Regeneron came up with an antibody cocktail that was ready in just 19 months. When Ebola reappeared in the Congo last year, Regeneron's antibody cocktail cut the death rate in half. It was the most effective out of all four treatments that were tested. Regeneron's treatment for Ebola was also better than Gilead's, which is the drug that is currently being used to treat COVID-19 patients. Experts think that at least one of the antibody drugs that is being developed will be effective in fighting COVID-19. According to immunologist James Crow, the odds are very high that this will work, especially when you have multiple programs and multiple manufacturers. Former head of the FDA, Scott Godley, also sounded optimistic when he was talking about the drug being available by the summer. A vaccine will also really help. A vaccine will also be effective. But if the coronavirus ends up being like the flu, it means that it could come back seasonally, like the flu. Across the world, there have been 3,000 gene sequences of the virus identified by scientists. 
and not all of them are identical, which means that the virus is evolving. Regeneron is looking to find the antibodies that latch onto the spikes that are not evolving, that can't develop an immunity to antibodies. The best hope we have is to develop both a vaccine and antibody treatments. Regeneron is currently waiting on their test results and they should know more by the end of May. We will keep you updated on that when we get more info. For now, that's all I have for you on that. Thank you for watching, I.O.